So it is a ridiculously interesting day. It was cool this morning. I don't think it's gotten above 69 or 70 degrees, which is fine with me. Uh, I was thinking I might go out here and get into something, but to be honest with you, I spent all day so far making videos in the house. I'm a little bit tired of being in the house. I don't really want to start a project. So, I don't know, maybe I'll just walk around. Walk around look at some old cars. Look at some old junky cars. I'm the old junky car man. You know, I could. I started yesterday to getting ready to put a, um, a bottom in this thing so that I could put like a spare tire or something in that. I could, I could continue that because I got a couple of things that I got out of metal pile out back that gives me enough metal to cut out some various and sundry pieces and parts. Oh, let's open the garage door. You never know, we might actually do something today other than make videos. You know, making videos is a good thing, but if you do it all the time, it's pretty boring. Oh, look at my, look at my sweet honey baby of a rat rod. Oh, I like this. I like this real good. Mm-hmm, sure do. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm cutting metal to fit down inside of here. And I'm gonna leave enough so that I can notch the top and bend those pieces down and slide them up into this fender and then brad them in place there. Uh, it's kind of the plan. So I got enough metal in the back of this fridge to cut this next piece and the piece I just cut, which means I can make the inner fender part out of the same metal that the fridge was made out of, which is gonna be good. In fact, it has the, it has a really similar look uh, as it would, as you would expect it to, because it's made out of the same metal. But, you know, it's got that old, that old refrigerator sort of look about it. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is, like I say, I'm gonna notch, put notches here fold each one of these down so it goes under the fender and then maybe put a screw or a brad in each one of these spots. Uh, that's the plan. That's the whole plan as far as I know it at the time, sir. Sure.
So this is what we have. And this will go inside the fender so that this part will be up underneath and you won't see that. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll come in from the back side and shoot some rivets into here. And then down there on the bottom, I'll, I'll shoot some screws or rivets into the side of the fridge. This will give us a little bit of extra support up here. Um, and also, you know, make it look more like a finished fender. In a way, that kind of reminds me of a tractor fender. Uh, anybody that ever rode on the back of an old Ford 8N tractor will be very familiar with those. We used to lean up on the fender and Dad would be in, a, in the seat and we'd be standing on the axle leaning on the fender as he uh, drove that thing down the road or across the field or whatever. Oh, joy. I like that quite a lot. And uh, I believe we got good clearance. I did this yesterday, but I'll do it again today. But I think it, it, we still got plenty of clearance to get that door open nice and wide. Uh, I'm going to look around and find me a couple of those little uh, hydraulic rods that they put on the trunks of new cars nowadays, and like the one I got on the back of the rat rod to uh, to stabilize that thing. Show you. Uh, pretty sure I got some more of these, but I just had to find them like, like that. One of those kind of things. Oh, the joy. Mm. Ah. I like it. It's a start. And I like it. Okay. Okay then, we'll get back to this tomorrow.